Welcome, my name is Jorge Pereira and I'm a Workforce Transformation Solutions Principal for Dev Technologies. I am here to talk to you about the uh, modern device management uh, in the context of uh, Windows Autopilot, Microsoft Intune, and uh, this is a short presentation. Uh, why this matters today? We've been doing traditional deployment for many years and improving on the traditional deployment, which is building images or not doing images at all using the OEM. Uh, uh, component, but traditionally what we have, uh, many organizations have been doing is just wiping the OEM image, putting it and deploying it out there, which means uh, there's a lot of uh, money and time spent on that level of effort, maintaining, uh, building and uh, updating that image. With Windows 10, that has been a really significant problem. Um, <clears throat> because Windows 10 gets updated at least uh, every 18 months, as you are aware. Uh, for organizations that have not uh, been doing this, uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, support issues because they have to um, uh, done a lot of um, uh, maintenance and those kinds of things. So, um, and typically this is also uh, the way in which uh, organizations have been managing devices. They've assumed those devices are internal uh, within their local uh, area networks, which means the new norm has been all about um, having remote users, having remote workers, having everybody is basically outside the, the local area network and outside. So the VPN connectivity, the Office 365, the file shares, and all those kinds of components become a significant issue as you're moving forward. So that's where the problem is. Managing devices today in the way in which, and by the way, this has not been just uh, recently, but even before um, this entire thing about uh, COVID and all those uh, stay at home, uh, three years ago, four years ago, five years ago, we've been uh, talking to customers about doing it in the new modern device management way, which uh, essays, uh, essentially talks about the ability to um, uh, work anywhere, anytime. Uh, it's device independent, so it doesn't matter what device you're using. Uh, use more collaboration and teamwork tools. Make sure that the users, and this is the stuff that the user is looking for, the end users, especially with the, all the Gen X, Gen Y, digital natives essentially, uh, are coming on to these as far simple to use, lots of uh, uh, single sign-on uh, components, and all of it, it needs to be self-service. So what this means to the organization and to organizations, that needs to be a secure environment. They need to manage the identity and access much more than the devices. They need to uh, push uh, policies uh, that make sense no matter what device they are. So for iPad devices, it's different than Android devices. It's different than uh, whatever device it is. So they need the... Um, uh, collaboration and productivity uh, tools associated with that. And of course, all of these needs to be uh, tied to file storage uh, that they can be accessing no matter where they are, what device they're in. And that ultimately means that it has to be cloud-based, cloud managed. Universal access uh, anytime, anywhere means uh, cloud-based systems. And of course, uh, that means uh, uh, one of the uh, um, side uh, uh, components to that is there is low or no management um, uh, of uh, on-prem systems uh, or overhead uh, associated with that. So that's where uh, the conversation starts to get interesting because how many, um, how should I say, vendors can provide these? And this is where the Microsoft uh, conversation comes in quite strongly. Because Microsoft 365, I know you're talking about Windows 10, Office 365, Enterprise Mobility and Security uh, Systems, but the entire um, Microsoft suite of products, all of the individual products that you're buying, uh, are now being bundled into the Microsoft 365 suite. And they have two versions of it, They actually multiple versions, the E1 and or academic one, as well if you're a, a, a college or, or something. So the E1, the, e, uh, the E3, and the E5. And buying as an awesome bundle usually means a much better price than buying individually each one of those components. And that also uh, gives you the ability to have all the products you need uh, for your management of the environment, including 
um, uh, Intune, or what is called now Microsoft Endpoint Manage Manager, as well as um, the Office 365 and all of the, the components, as well as Azure uh, Active Directory, Azure uh, Premium, and those kinds of things. So, uh, and as I mentioned, uh, and we can go into a lot of details with the team, um, enabling each one of these uh, uh, workloads uh, and depending on the license that you have. And the licensing doesn't have to be all in all, everybody to, to, uh, uh, available to all. The license simply needs to be right for the user. So if a user uses its own computer and it's going to be accessing only with uh, web-based applications, all of the uh, on one drive storage and all of the, but there is, you still need to manage uh, dot, uh, desktop for, <coughs> pardon me, for the desktop, for the um, users that you have, I'm sorry, for the applications that you give them, um, then you just have a license of E1, which is the least expensive of all of the licenses and uh, those kinds of things. And we can talk uh, a, a lot about with the Microsoft team. Eli probably supports you. He, he knows very well what that means and what that is. Um, so ultimately what this means though, is if you have the right license, if you have the right products, then you're able to support um, modern device uh, management and modern provisioning, which basically simply says uh, in, it's the ability to transform any device that you receive, whether it is uh, a device that has all, all the OEM software without re-imaging, um, just simply transform that device into um, a uh, uh, corporate managed device for the components that you need. So if they have BYOD devices, you will only be managing a component of uh, one of the Exchange mailboxes in the Microsoft Outlook component. So they will not be able to manage copy and paste from there, or if they open OneDrive in the web component, uh, on the web uh, side uh, on that device, then they will not be able to download uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, files onto their desktop, or they, if they do, it's to a specific desktop location. Those kinds of things that you can control. So what you do is you are enabling this environment, which is much simpler, far more secure. It uh, basically there's a much lower TCO because you're not what you're maintaining really is identity management and access management and you're maintaining the policies that are going to be uh, executed to that profile or that user. So you can order devices, and you're probably familiar with the back Mac OS and uh, Business Manager from Apple, um, uh, from Apple and Apple uh, products. When you order a device, you register that device with uh, Microsoft to be used with your organization. And that is what triggers all of the components. So we ship it directly to the end user um, and the end user then opens the device, uh, logs in after it connects to the internet, logs in and um, uh, based on the profile that they have, they uh, go ahead and do that. For existing devices, you can enroll them on that and then it will enroll and uh, set up other configuration for exchange for office for whatever it is that they need to you you have set up that profile to be set up for and then it continues forward even if it is a byod uh, component so how does this modern provisioning work essentially there are three steps to the process first step is modern registration, which is what is called equivalent to Windows Autopilot. So basically what we do is we register that device to your organization prior to leaving the factory. Okay, so that device, if it gets uh, uh, rerouted, stolen or something like that, when it when it when it, it's open and connected to the Internet, the first thing the device does is goes to the Microsoft servers and it says, is this device registered with any organization? And if it is registered, then it comes back and asks you, what's your username and password? And it actually puts the, uh, your logo in the back. You can configure that, of course. Your logo in the back and it says, this uh, device belongs to blah, 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 and enter your uh, uh, username and credentials. 
So at that point, uh, if it doesn't happen like that, then it goes, it, it's not registered, then it goes and it gets uh, uh, just usually normally uh, uh, used like you do in uh, any uh, organization. That's device registration. That's what Windows Autopilot does. Pure, simple, nothing else. The second step is once the device is recognized by the um, uh, uh, Microsoft as a device, then it connects that device because it knows to your organization's Azure Active Directory and it then prompts the user for, hey, what's your Azure Active Directory or your credentials, uh, Mr. User? That is when enrollment, upon successful entry of that, that's when enrollment to those device, uh, to your Intune uh, happens. So that enrollment then provides the system the profile that you're going to be using for that user. So that user will be uh, associated with a profile and the, by what I mean the profile is the policies the settings, uh, the security, of course, uh, all the security components and the applications that that user has attached in that profile. And then at that moment is when then the third element uh, comes in and it's pushed to the device. That is called device provisioning. That device provisioning is where um, the lags uh, will highly depend on the bandwidth of the user, okay? So if they are on a dial-up uh, uh, connection, it's going to take many hours to, trans uh, to, to transfer that information uh, or download those applications. And of course, it will depend on the how many applications and those kinds of things. But if they are, like most of us, on uh, one gig or 500 megs of uh, uh, connections in our homes uh, these days, uh, then it's going to take five minutes to uh, provision. And again, and by the way, this will not be an issue in about two years from now when 5G is widely uh, enabled. For those users that you have that may be an, an issue, they may be in a cabin in Alaska or they may be in a mining town somewhere in... Uh, uh, that there's no internet connection. There are options associated with that. You can pre-provision those devices at the configuration center and pre based on the profile, and then you ship to those users as needed. So we can stage that uh, as, as that is. Now, for existing devices, this is part of the device registration can be skipped, but you can send a URL to the end users, please enroll this device into our uh, management system. And then at that point, then the Intune will start managing that device uh, based on that. And by the way, all of these, all of the certificates and all of those kinds of uh, things that happen, uh, uh, happen uh, completely transparent to the user, uh, whether it is an uh, iPhone, an Android, or a PC device. Uh, and based on the policies, if it is a um, uh, BYOD device, then the user will be attached to a BYOD profile, which will say uh, perhaps uh, just enable Exchange and Exchange Outlook and then put the permissions associated with the Exchange Outlook conversation uh, uh, settings. And then maybe a, it will set uh, some sort of a auto uh, password uh, and some sort of a password policy, which they may not have uh, uh, set uh, before because it was a personal device. Um, if it is a corporate device, own device, then it'll have the appropriate uh, policy associated with it. And those policies are all configured in the Intune console, uh, uh, which is cloud-based enabled. So the only difference between this the new device and the existing device is the device registration doesn't happen um, uh, uh, automatically because they're already deployed. You're sending a, a, a link to the user to please enroll that device. So let's go a little bit deeper into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager tool. It is comprised of two uh, elements or consoles. One is Microsoft Intune and the other one is called Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. 
that is the old SCCM. Both tools have a purpose. Intune, Microsoft Intune, is uh, the tool that manages anything that is connected to the in outside the network, internet-based devices, or any remote workers associated with that. Configuration Manager is the tool used for local devices or uh, exclusively uh, local-based devices. And um, uh, there is a thing called uh, co-management in which a Windows 10 device can be managed by both tools that requires hybrid AD to be connected uh, to be enabled within the environment within the customer environment hybrid AD is the ability to domain join devices like you have been doing for the many many years you've been running Microsoft technologies into your local Active Directory as well as taking advantage of Azure Active Directory uh, by Azure Active Directory uh, Azure AD join uh, devices so when you have co-managed devices you are able to um, basically manage a Windows 10 device, whether that device is in the local network or outside uh, in remote without connecting to the local area network or the local AD uh, environment. It is important to understand that there is a, uh, there's no need to install Configuration Manager if you are only um, enabling modern device management into your environment. Microsoft Intune can manage um, local area network devices uh, that are not uh, local AD joined uh, inside the network or outside the network. So no matter where those devices are in the environment, um, as long as there is internet connection, those devices will be discovered uh, along the way. And those devices, by the way, can be uh, not only Windows 10 devices, but Mac OS devices, Android devices, uh, iOS devices as well. So it's the entire, it gives you the entire single pane of glass for all of your devices that you are managing, Microsoft Intune does, and the Microsoft Intune console uh, does. So Microsoft Intune, what does it do again? Is a uh, manage devices, manage applications, and then manages compliance. It can be purchased on a standalone licenses or uh, as part of a Microsoft 365, and it provides all of the services associated with that. That's your MDM and MAM, mobile device management and Microsoft, I'm sorry, uh, mobile application management tools moving forward so you can uh, manage and maintain your environment. Uh, so you might be asking, how do you order Windows Autopilot registered devices from uh, Dell? We make the process very simple. Windows Autopilot is completely free. You can register devices at no cost to you. There are a couple of options. When you order a device, we basically add a SKU to the order that says we want that device registered at the factory. So Windows Autopilot registration happens at the factory. We send that unique ID for that device directly to Microsoft. Uh, uh, your, and you will start to see those devices appear on your device manager Microsoft portal uh, as those devices are shipped to the end user. The first option is to have the standard OEM image that contains all the value added software from Dell on it. So trialware and uh, all of the tools and utilities associated with that. That's the basic, everybody gets that image. They, we call it the OEM image. Uh, when you receive it, uh, when the end user receives it, the autopilot registration will be noticed and, of course, will proceed with uh, uh, enrollment into Intune and Azure Active Directory and all those uh, elements that we talked about earlier. Most customers prefer to have an image that doesn't have all of those uh, components on it, the value-added components, trialware, and uh, et cetera, that it is placed by the OEM on those devices. So we call that, there is an option called generic image. The Dell generic image contains only the ISO from Microsoft plus the device drivers that are associated with that device model. The device will be, of course, Windows 
autopilot registered and uh, the users will have <coughs> receive uh, that device and then it, the entire process to enroll into Intune and push the policies and applications will apply just the same as the uh, OEM uh, image. Uh, it, that is a function of Intune, nothing to do with uh, autopilot registration per se. Now, there is a third option available that is called Windows Autopilot White Glove Provisioning. And that comes with the Windows generic image, autopilot registered, but we take one more step in our um, second touch facilities in which we are able to connect that device to a secure internet connection, connect directly to your tenant, and then push the profile for that user group to that device. So when the user receives the device, is uh, already pre-configured with those uh, applications that you have defined in that user profile. Those are the three options available today uh, in, uh, for Windows Autopilot offering. It should be noted that all three options are available, are, are available with group tag. And group tag is you can have one group tag per order and you are able to assign all of those devices in that order a tag uh, in uh, uh, Windows um, Device Manager that you can query in your enrollment in Intune so you can push specific uh, applications or specific policies to that set of devices. So it, it comes in quite handy if you have uh, different business units or uh, you are ordering for different user groups. Uh, perhaps um, some policies uh, need to be applied for certain user groups versus other user groups, uh, or certain applications need to be pushed to those. That is the group tag as well. Group tag and Windows Autopilot is no cost to the um, uh, customers, to you, the customer. And uh, the only cost associated uh, with this is, of course, with the generic image. Uh, there is an up uh, tick on uh, cost and uh, we can provide you with a uh, dollar amount associated with it and the Windows Autopilot white glove provisioning is also an additional cost and we will be glad to provide that uh, to you. As you move forward in your journey to modern device management, there are many things to consider. Uh, anywhere from identity on the cloud, impacts on the network, you don't really have to think of images anymore. Uh, your entire Microsoft 365 environment uh, is a, at play. OneDrive, where no more uh, data is no longer uh, only stored locally. Uh, Teams, OneDrive, and the entire SharePoint uh, environment, Exchange Online, and all those elements. Applications, single sign-on to applications, and application delivery and update, the same thing as Windows Update for Business uh, for servicing Windows 10 is at play. There's uh, many items to consider along the way. We have developed roadmaps to help you uh, adopt modern device management, modern provisioning, modern workspace in general with Microsoft technologies. And, and we will be happy to share with you uh, in a different session or a customized session, uh, we call them workshops with you, uh, how that will work in your environment. Again, we have an entire service offering um, associated with uh, moving to uh, modern device management, which starts with identity management, applications, uh, followed by the data, and finally the devices that you're going to be uh, maintaining. We also have a quick start for Microsoft Intune, which uh, in two weeks we will be able to cover a lot of the topics that we covered today on how to configure uh, Microsoft Intune, how to configure Azure Active Directory, and uh, deploy devices, including application staging and um, Azure uh, Active Directory enablement and uh, Windows Autopilot, as well as anything that has to do with policies, pushing policies um, to the device, and uh, do uh, talk about those migration components. Happy to talk to you about all of those elements. We have many resources available uh, to you to learn uh, on this journey. 
not only the Dell Technologies In Focus blog is available, we have written many articles about uh, how to uh, engage in unified endpoint management as well as modern provisioning and uh, how to modernize your PC approach. I also write uh, constantly on a blog called moderneuc.com and I put a lot of information and uh, tips and tricks how to enable modern provisioning in the, uh, and help you in your journey, uh, including Windows Autopilot, uh, Intune, and a number of other technologies that I uh, cover on that. There is also lots of uh, published stories, not only from Microsoft, but go to our website at uh, Dell. Uh, technologies.com uh, where we publish uh, constantly uh, success stories about managing uh, devices with in a modern way. Again, thank you very much for listening to this recording. I appreciate it. Please contact your account team and we will be happy to engage on a specific conversation with you guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.